Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to JCP. Let's just take a look at this chart here. JCP was a call I made today, and actually, to be honest with you, it really is not a gap today, a new gap. Oh, it's a kind of a little bit of a new gap. Let's just look. It's really a continuation gap. Closed on Friday at 8.83. This is like neutral. Yeah, it's a neutral. Actually, this is a neutral open here today, but it really is a chart that I've been watching to move lower for really since the beginning of time, but it's a continuation gap. It's a continuation of the move that's lower in the chart. And back here, okay, when the stock gapped up, gapped up here, this is not a good bullish gap. This is not a good bullish gap. If you bought this here, you were not money very long. If you bought it here, you made money on the day and actually into the next day and for a small move up, but it's not a good trade. Why? Why is this a bad trade? Why is this a bad trade? This is not a highly rated golden gap, a good gap to buy in. And actually, it's not even a bullish gap. This is a gap down. It's a gap down failure. It's a stock that gapped down. JCPenney gapped down on the day that it went green on the day. Okay? So this is not a proper real entry to buy. In any event, the stock is a short called a really aggressive entry in this today. I kind of saw in, in, in the morning that this was going to break today, and it did. It did. It, it's broken. It's, it's on its way. There's nothing stopping it now. Next target is $8.15, then $8. This thing falls off a of planet again, I think, here. Under 8. Under 8, it falls off a of planet, and it really could keep going under 7, like even not that far for long from now. But definitely, definitely $8. And then under 8 is where you really can get paid in this thing. Now, I'm not saying this happens today. I'm saying for an overnight trade or a swing trade, basically. A swing trade is a trade in the next 5 to 10 days, you'd say. But today, I'll show you the short I called in this, which could be the entry then for the swing trade, actually. <laughs> here, you could have done this right out of the gate. But I didn't see this until after the fact in here. Stop over here, rallied up, retest the resistance held, could have shorted again, could have taken more, could have done the ad, dropped on down, broke, broke in here, could have gotten out of some, <clears throat> could have held the whole thing, let it rally back. And here's the five minutes set up again in here, and then you lower the stop. So actually, the stop would be here at the entry price of the first trade. And then you can't lose in the trade. Although this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. Look. So got to the mini first target, which was 8.50, here into 12 o'clock major reversal time. A nice move here with a very, very quality entry. Entry here on the five minute is 64. This is like, a, look at this. So even though this only moved, you know, about 20 cents, it's still a nice quality trade in a daily chart stock that's broken, that has a bigger target in it, which is trying to make a new low here now. Look at this. <clears throat> Actually, the 15 minute setup too. You could have done that at 61. Although I'd still have the stop up here where it is in the five. <coughs> Excuse me. So JCP is continuing down, and eight dollars looks very much well in sight. Whether or not that happens today or not, who knows? You know, this is really not a, a gap play today for a new gap. This is a continuation fall through in the daily chart of the stock to continue lower to the next target. You could be in this as a swing trade or a core trade or the daily short today. And there is potential that this gets to 8 today. That If this gets to $8 today, that's like a 7R trade on a day that it didn't even gap. This is a, 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 the new gap day. This is a continuation, okay? It's because I'm reading the overall trend in this to seem to wait till it breaks. Rallied up to resistance, rallied up to resistance, held, broke, rallied up to resistance. Do you see why you cannot take a trade in a stock in a position in a chart just because it does a pivot? If you do that, if you did that, if you are in this, it's going to break. I can tell you that right now, th this is what people did. They, can, they bought here. How do I know they bought? I can see they bought. I can see the green bar. Gapped up, gapped up. Again, there's nothing to do here. Some people got out of it immediately, actually. You can see here today as the swing trade just boop up in one night. Rallied up here, made a higher high, came in, made a higher low. It doesn't mean you buy the stock here. It did a buy setup on the 8 and on the 20 and made a higher low and a higher high, but that doesn't mean you take the, the position in this long because reading pivots doesn't tell you 
what a chart is doing in an overall trend. Just like you can't buy every buy setup in the daily chart in a stock, and you can't short every sell setup in a daily chart in a stock. You have to know exactly what you're looking for to read what's happening in the bigger picture, which has to do with the price, and it's all based on gaps. I mean, this is the reason that I'm good at reading price and charts, because I'm good at reading gaps. You must learn how to read the gaps. The gaps, the gaps, the gaps. They tell you what's going to happen in the price of the stock before the move happens to know how to take the position, because this is a great green short move here in JCP to get this back up into a rally anywhere in the nines or the eights to get this down into the sevens or the sixes or the fives again so is a huge beautiful trade. I, I don't know the timing of when it gets to these numbers um, but it looks likely the JCPenney will definitely hit eight this week. Today's only Monday and it could hit it today and then once it breaks eight that's where I think it falls off the cliff. So we'll have to see. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. It is 12.05 on Monday, March 31st. Guess what? Tomorrow is April 1st. Can you believe it? It's April tomorrow already. This year has gone so fast so far, but spring is on the way. There's no looking back for spring now. So happy. Can't wait for spring. Spring is a great time to trade the market. It's a great time to be outside and enjoy the city and everything it has to offer. And it's a beautiful time to start to enjoy the outdoors and get ready for summer. Have a great day, everyone. I'm doing a lecture, a webinar today at 5.30 Eastern Time. It's going to be about how to reprice, actually. I could even talk about JCP in the lecture tonight if I, if I have time. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Email me with more information at melissa at thestockswish.com. In the next GAP course is this weekend, April 5th and 6th. I'm doing a special day three by special request on this class. I Normally, it's a two-day class. Day three is just going to be live trading and actually reviewing live gaps. It's going to be helpful for people. It's a bonus day. Bonus day on this gap class this weekend if you want to do it. So feel free to sign up and reach out to me, Melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.